Welcome to Science Easy Tech channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about introduction to nursing research which comes under the subject nursing research and statistics. This is unit 1 taken from BSc nursing syllabus. So this is my part 2 video. Already I have posted part 1 video with regard to introduction to nursing research. If you have not watched that video, I have given the link in description box, suggested end card and I card also. Also I have given nursing research and statistics playlist links separately. So this video will be useful for BSc nursing students, post basic BSc nursing students and MSc nursing students also. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Let's move on to the topic, scientific methods. So what are these scientific methods? Scientific methods are defined as controlled systematic investigation that are rooted in the objective reality and that aim to develop general knowledge about natural phenomena. So scientific means itself it is systematic. Systematic means what? Step by step investigation. So you are doing some investigations to find out the solution for a particular thing or a particular problem. So um, so about a natural phenomena you are going to gain knowledge so this is what is called a scientific method so scientific methods are defined as control systematic investigation that are rooted in objective reality and that aim to develop general knowledge about a natural phenomena next moving on to the purposes of this scientific method are so the purposes of this scientific method are description Exploration, explanation, prediction, control, prescription and identification of relationship of the facts. So what are the purposes? Description, exploration, explanation, prediction, control, prescription and identification of relationship of the facts. So these are the basic principles. Description, exploration, explanation, prediction, control, prescription, identification of relationship of the facts. Next moving on to the steps of scientific methods. Sometimes they will ask the steps of scientific methods in 5 mark question. So what are the steps of scientific methods are selecting the topic. So first you have to select a topic that is research problem. So any uh, statement of the problem you have to select what problem you are going to study. Then you have to define the objectives of the study. After selecting the problem the next step is you have to formulate the research objectives. Then you have to find out the review of literature from theory and other related studies. So you have to go for theory as well as other related uh, studies, review of literature. So after selecting the problem, after framing the objectives and all, no, immediately we will save, search for the related literature. So next is you have to define the concepts that is operational definitions and variables to be studied. So defining concepts and variables are nothing but operational definitions for the study. The, what uh, the meaning of the statement of the problem you will be framing in operational definition. So you have to define each and every concept in the statement of the problem as well as the variable. Next is you have to formulate the hypothesis that is stating hypothesis. Uh, so what is expected? Okay. So about what is expected? Stating hypothesis about expected observations or outcomes of a phenomena to be studied. So after framing the hypothesis, you have to identify the assumptions and implications of the study. Then after that, you have to look into the ethical considerations and determine the ethical implications of the proposed study. So you have to follow all the principles of ethics, so which we have discussed in our uh, channel. So I will be giving that uh, link also in the description box. Next is describing the research design. What research design you are going to select and what methods of data collection you are going to use. Whether you are going to use uh, experimental research design or non-experimental research design and what data collection you are going to use like either questionnaire method, interview method or checklist method like that and all. 
so next is defining study population and sample so whom you are going to study who is your target population who is your accessible population what is the sample sample size sampling technique everything you have to formulate it next is planning the data analysis and discussion so you have to plan the data analysis so you have to do the data analysis and you have to do discussion then collecting the data from subjects so you have to collect the data from each uh, subject that is data collection procedure so once after collecting the data you have to do analysis statistical analysis then you have to find the uh, solution okay for the problem so what analysis what findings you have uh, find out you should not keep it to yourself so unless and until the findings have been communicated to others uh, uh, it is not at all use so after completing the study after finding out the analysis of the study and drawing inferences or conclusions from your study you have to disseminate your findings to the general public so that is communication of findings thereby the research can be utilized by the members of the society or community or worldwide so what are the limitations of scientific methods so some limitations or difficulties you will be having when you are doing scientific method you have to consider ethical problems so moral or ethical issues can occur human complexity complexity of human nature then measurement to problems so sometimes the experimental studies some studies quantitative studies and all you cannot measure accurately then external variable control problems so the same factor can be affected or influenced by many other factors so out of that only because of your intervention the effect has taken place you may not be able to tell so that's why so these uh, limitations are all uh, faced when you are going to do a scientific inquiry or scientific uh, methods one is moral or ethical problem human complexity measurement of me measurement problems external variable control problems next what is the characteristics of a good research when you will be telling that the research is very very good so orderly and systematic it should be in your order and systematic process then uh, you should do based on current professional uh, issues so what are all the issues you are facing in your profession today what are all the problems you are seeing in your profession today so it should be appropriate to the current scenario for example smallpox has been eradicated from the world so now if i am going to do a research on smallpox it is not of going to be any use okay so whatever the current issues you have to take and you have to do the research begin with clearly defined purpose or objective so when you are starting the research you should have a defined purpose or an objective or a goal so that you can achieve it so emphasis to develop refine and expand your professional body of knowledge so the main purpose of doing research is to add on theory to you uh, body of knowledge okay so if you are not doing uh, research new knowledge you will not be able to get so research is the foundation for anything so you have to develop you have to refine and you have to expand your professional knowledge that's why see every um, 10 years or 5 years like that no there is syllabus revision also so recently also we have a syllabus revision as per Indian nursing council so why we have, have the old things itself if you are going to study it is of no use so we have to every day the technology is varying newer diseases are emerging so the syllabus has to also to be revised government is formulating new new programs and also everything has been included in this the revision has to take place similarly when we are doing a research only you will be going to expand your body of knowledge with regard to nursing theory then directed towards development or testing theories so you are going to test the theories various theories what you are going to develop whether the theory is effective or not or whether you have to do any modification in the current theory like that and all you have to uh, do research then you have to find out the solution so finding solution to your problem so if you want to find a solution to your problem definitely you have to focus on research then dedicated to development of empirical evidence so whatever you are doing if you are going to have a scientific evidence for your actions so nursing is a profession see we nurses so what is the difference between a trained nurse and a person who is skilled just without uh, without uh, professional education without uh, adequate uh, training practical training so the other people also can do the thing but whatever the nurse has is doing means she is doing with a scientific evidence so whatever the actions what is carried by a nurse when compared to the lay person who is going to do the same thing so she is going to follow the scientific techniques okay and she is going to do
okay strive to collect first hand information not data so when you are collecting a research uh, when you are doing a research you are going to do it uh, based on your first hand information so fresh information or uh, the first hand information what you are going to get directly from the participants so it is objective and logical process so you have to use appropriate methodology there are so many methodologies in research so whatever the method is going to so some methodology needs you have to go for experimental studies some you have to go for non-experimental studies whichever study is applicable you have to choose the correct methodology and conducted on representative sample see suppose if i am going to do a study on hypothyroidism the samples should be taken from the population who is going to have hypothyroidism so if i am going to take samples uh, other than hypothyroidism if i am going to hyper hypothyroidism take samples then it is of no use so whatever because the results you are going to finalize the results uh, see all hypothyroidism patients i am not going to take but uh, if i am going to do some 100 patients also the results you are going to generalize it to for all the patients who are having hypothyroidism similarly for this corona vaccination also they have taken only few trials and once they have found that the vaccination is effective for uh, some people for example take some thousand people they have uh, uh, checked this trial means so after that they have given to the whole world stating that the vaccination is effective so use of appropriate methodology conducted on representative sample use of valid and reliable data tool so you have to use a reliable data tool if the tool is questionnaire you have to use a questionnaire checklist means checklist like a scale rating scale uh, so many techniques are there in data collection methods are there so whichever is uh, apt for the conducting that uh, particular research you have to use it appropriately so carefully recorded and reported so once you have collected everything so next you have to do what carefully you have to record and report the findings adequately and appropriately analyze the research so after that after recording after reporting you have to analyze you have to use statistical analysis and find out the solution for the uh, problem so the patiently carried out activity patiently carried out activity means hurry bury you should not do the research so you have to do it very consciously and patiently okay so adequately communicated so you have to communicate the findings uh, uh, to the general public and researchers expertise interest motivation and courage so researchers knowledge then his interest then his uh, motivation his courage everything is going to add on to the uh, good research what are the types of research so there are so many types of research so you have uh, based on the approach research is classified as quantitative research and qualitative research so it is based on either an approach of studying the variable that is quantitative or qualitative research approach or the purpose of conducting the research that is basic research and applied research so there are uh, three types two types of research one is quantitative or qualitative research then another uh, based on the purpose it is classified as a basic or applied research so first is quantitative research next to qualitative research then finally we will be moving on to applied uh, and basic research so quantitative research it is inquiry inquiry means investigation into an identified problem based on testing a theory composed of variables measured with numbers and analyzed using statistical technique in this type of research data is collected in numerical form and analyzed by using descriptive and inferential statistics so in quantitative it is an investigation where you are going to identify a problem and you are going to test the theory composed of variables measured with numbers and analyzed using statistical technique so in this type of research data is collected in numerical form and analyzed by using either descriptive or inferential statistics next to moving on to qualitative research it is the field of inquiry that cross cuts disciplines and subject matter so it involves in depth understanding about a particular phenomena or human behavior and the reasons that govern the human behavior for example in a particular community the human people the for example take the tribal people their behavior uh, if you want to study you have to do only qualitative uh, research so you are going in depth uh, about their behavior and what are all the factors which are uh, affecting or influencing the uh, tribal people to behave in such a way so like that and all you are, you can take and do you can do uh, qualitative research 
Next is basic research. It is performed with a specific purpose in mind. It is used to generate and expand theories that uh, explain that describe, explain or predict a phenomena of interest to the discipline without regard to its immediate use. So when you are doing a basic research, what you have to, you, you, you want to get a solution to a particular problem. So there is a specific purpose for your research and uh, mainly to in order to expand your body of knowledge. Uh, so you, in order to expand theories that describe, explain, predict a phenomena. So that describe, explain and predict a phenomena of interest of the discipline without regard to its immediate use. Next is applied research. It refers to those studies which have functional purposes and practical use of application. So in applied research, uh, so what you have to consider, it refers to those studies which have functional purpose and practical use of application. They focus on finding immediate solution to an existing problem. So you have to find out an immediate solution to the particular problem so this is with regard to applied uh, research so whatever you are finding out immediately same thing for example the same corona vaccination is example so you have uh, find out a solution to a uh, problem so by vaccinating hope this video is clear for you all if you like my video don't forget to give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel my previous videos link I have given in description box, suggested end card and eye cards or you can watch our channel playlist for more nursing research and statistics related videos. Thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel.